Hey everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sean. And we watched a movie. It's our thing. It is. So, SpongeBob SquarePants. Sponge on the run. It's happening. It already did happen. <laughs> well, it happened for us. It hasn't happened in the States yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, next week for the States. All right. You know, the rollouts are complicated. They're very complicated. They're complicated. It's hard to keep Everything track. Everything is, yeah, exactly. So we're going to tell the nice people out there whether they should waste their money on this movie. <laughs> well, I think you already hinted at it. Prejudicial verbiage, you say? Is that what you're accusing uh, me of, Sean? That's what I'm just stating as an observation. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't mind it. <laughs> I didn't mind it either. But I didn't it's all love right. it. <laughs> yeah, but you don't like Spongebob, I don't think. No, I mean, I don't have anything against Spongebob, but I never watched, I never... Yeah, you didn't watch it. No. Yeah. no I, I watched it for a bit. Okay. Um, why? I don't know. Like, it's kind of funny. Kind of. Yeah. I guess I was bored. You have bored. a very low bar. Yeah, it's a low bar. <laughs> anyway, okay. I, this is more of the same. If you like Spongebob, <laughs> you'll like this movie. Okay. How do you feel about him having a more 3D look now? It's weird, but I got used to it. Okay. Not too distracting. Not too distracting. It kind of does make it be like, well, this is a movie as opposed to just a normal <laughs> television He's show. He's not flat anymore. Yeah. He actually has sponge-like divots. He does. Good for him. Yeah, he's moving up. <laughs> so um, I guess we better really get right to the plot because... Oh yeah, you're going to want to know about it's this. It's pretty intense. <laughs> yeah. So SpongeBob... No, let me back up. <laughs> Before we even get to Bikini Bottom, we have my favorite part of the movie. The very first thing in the movie was, for me, the highlight. It was all downhill after that. But it was a David Attenborough-style documentary narration of, like, a reef as we're swimming through the ocean and saying hello to all of its creatures. And then we get to Bikini Bottom, where, of course, SpongeBob and all his pals live. In a pineapple under the sea. Well, only him. Only that's, him. That's and Gary. And Gary, the snail. <laughs> and he's important. Yes. Um, so, yes. So, <laughs> so we have um, our SpongeBob just going about his normal life. Working a shift. Yeah. Hanging out with his friends. Bonding with his pet snail. Mm -hmm. They're good friends. Right. Uh, Cross town. <laughs> we have, I guess, an evil overlord... Yeah, Plankton. Plankton. I literally said to Sean while watching the movie, what species is he? And Sean said... Well, his name is Plankton. So... so okay, <laughs> I had not... And that is fair. That is the answer in that I deserve that. But I had not heard that his name was Plankton. Or not okay. internalized it yeah. at all. I did think he looked like a pickle, so I yeah. thought he might have been a sea cucumber. <laughs> even though I don't know if sea cucumbers actually look like cucumbers. I don't know either. You figure they so, have to, though, right? I mean, why else name yeah. them that? But this <laughs> show is making me doubt myself in many ways. <laughs> so, assuming that he is a plankton named plankton and not a guppy named flounder. Right. Could go either way. There are weird laws in... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Assuming he is a plankton, he's an evil one. He's very evil. And uh, I, I mean, I don't know this about show. him. Yeah. yeah. I just sort of had to infer this yeah. from his general You can infer vibe. it pretty easily, I would <laughs> <Yes>. say. <laughs> so in this particular extended episode, uh, plankton learns that He's had this apparently long-standing rivalry with Mr. Mr. Crab. Crab. They have competing restaurants <laughs> across the street from each other. Right. And so he has blamed his life's woes on Mr. Crab, but his new robot friend tells him actually his real nemesis should be SpongeBob. It has By been Sponge... By the way, that was, robot was Plankton's wife. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um... Okay. <laughs> Did I miss? Is it a robot? Yeah, it's a robot. That he's married to. Yeah. To. Deeply. Okay. <laughs> They're committed. 
<laughs> Good to know. I mean, I guess if it works for us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what? Okay, so he has been told by his wife, I'm so sorry, wife. <laughs> Probably even has a name. I'm sorry, I don't she know. Does. I think it's Karen, but I'm not positive. Karen! <laughs> oh, jeez. It would be a Karen, wouldn't you? Anyway, she does tell him, like, your real nemesis is actually SpongeBob. And she's right. <laughs> I'm sure she is. It's always SpongeBob who's SpongeBob gumming up the plants. Up the yeah. Plants. So uh, he turns his really oversized coin operated. All of his gadgets, his spy gadgets, are always coin operated. <laughs> yeah. And I don't feel like he has pockets, so where are the quarters coming from? I don't know. But anyways, not the best way to build your gadgets. No, <laughs> expensive. <laughs> yeah, so, but anyways, he turns his attention on SpongeBob. And for some reason, and this is not the greatest plan, but the, for some reason he decides the best way to get rid of SpongeBob is to kidnap his snail. It is actually a pretty good plan. <laughs> it's SpongeBob's main weakness. Oh, he, oh it, that's he his really great. likes Gary. He cares about him a lot. Well, sure, we all care about our pets, yeah. but still. <laughs> I mean, I've seen the movie. Spoiler alert! It's not that effective of getting rid of. It's actually mostly good at getting a lot more snails, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> um, Plankton snail naps Gary. And long story short, Gary ends up in the lost city of Atlantic City, where King Poseidon is obsessed with youth and looking good. And sidebar, snail slime is actually a, a great ingredient, especially in K-beauty. I have used it <laughs> myself. Uh, scale, snail mucin <laughs> is the even worst word for it, but... Um, yeah, it's a real thing, and King Poseidon is obsessed with this ingredient, and he has been milking the snails dry. He goes direct to the snails also. Yes, he does. <laughs> it's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> um, he has milked them dry in his own kingdom, so getting his hands on Gary is a big deal. Gary might be the last slimy snail in the sea bottom. We don't know. busy. So that's where Gary is. SpongeBob does not know this. He only knows that his beloved pet is missing. So he enlists his friend Patrick, and who I hope is not Patrick's wife, but merely a robot chauffeur. Oh, yeah. oh that was... Uh, named Otto. Yeah, that was Mr. Krabs' automatic managerial replacement. But she's the chauffeur once they leave Bikini right. Bottom. Yeah. Voiced by Aquafina. Um, <laughs> so she's going to drive them on a road trip. They don't even know where they're going, but they're going on a rescue mission. That's right. It takes them all the way to the surface. It does. Uh, surprisingly. <laughs> it, this is a... <laughs> There's a lot of sidetracking and sidebarring and a lot of distractions, let's just say, on our way. Because, of course, it's a kid's movie, so yeah. they just have to keep throwing crazy stuff at you. Yeah. So, I don't know if, if fans of the franchise will be happy to know that we are going to see the origin story of a young Spongebob meeting Patrick and Sandy and even Squidward. Yep. Yeah. All at summer camp. All at summer camp. That's right. <laughs> So we're going to get to see those little flashbacks. We're going to, on the surface, I guess go back in time to a Western? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We get to an old well, saloon. Well, I'm pretty sure that was a dream sequence. <laughs> but we go to a saloon uh, with zombie cowboys. Right. And a tumbleweed named Sage, played by Keanu, Keanu Reeves, Reeves. The one and only. Thank God. <laughs> Also, I think a highlight of the film, even though it is completely nonsensical. Is that any different from the rest of the film, though? Well, <laughs> no. But he becomes their spirit guide. Unfortunately, still not a geographical guide, which no. is really what they need. It's but he's going to be. Philosophy. Yes, <laughs> their spiritual guide <laughs> on this journey. And believe it or not, and it is hard to believe, they eventually do find the lost city of Atlantic City. And Gary. 
and Gary. But Gary's gonna be hard to bust out of jail because he is now the right hand snail to Poseidon, He's who's well quite adapted. attached. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> a very convoluted rescue mission plan is put into place. Is there um, any other kind? Not in this movie. <laughs> no. Not in this movie. Will they save Gary? Yes. Does Gary want to be saved? Yes. <laughs> okay, fine. But you want to know how they do it, yeah, right? Yeah, you want to know how they do it. And Sean is not allowed to tell you. No, I'm not. You'll have to watch you it and find out. You have to watch out. it, yeah. So, are you telling the people they should watch it? If you like Spongebob, watch this movie. Okay. If you don't like Spongebob, skip it. Because that's yeah. it. Mm-hmm. There is, you will not be, you can't be on the fence with Spongebob. Either you enjoy it or you just can't be bothered. Yeah, well that, I mean, I feel like that's a little bit on the fence. <laughs> that sounds like not love and hate, but love and apathy. I Which think, is what I feel. I, I think feel that's it. not though. hate, but I don't apathy. think you can hate Spongebob. I think you can just be apathetic toward him. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know what the middle on the fence is. Okay. But it's not apathy in this case. <laughs> okay. Well, I really uh, didn't yeah. care about the movie a whole lot, to be honest. And we knew you wouldn't. Ooh, well, we did, but you went in, and just like you told me with another movie, mm -hmm. you just have to be impartial. Don't prejudge. Mm -hmm. And you didn't. No. And now you're judging. I earned this all on my <laughs> you own. earned it. I watched it, and I didn't like it. Yeah. And you did. Uh, well, yes. I enjoyed it. Okay. I would say of the animated movies, taste. of the animated movies that we watched this week, this was probably my favorite. <laughs> and there were a few. There were a few. There were a few. You may have already heard that we did not like Bigfoot Family. No. Whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. So I'm sure you would give this the uh, thumbs up over that one. Yes, I would. I mean, I'm not sure the writers care about this sh movie at all, but some people were trying. Yeah. You know, it may not be much more than a, an overly long episode, but, you know, there were some hijinks. It was a good little caper. Yep. Everyone gets... Sandy gets left behind, but we still get to see her... Yeah. Intermittently. Which is important. You know, we, we mix in, I think, all of the the main guys you would want to see. We absolutely do. Yep. Get a couple new ones. Yeah. Learn that Plankton has a wife <laughs> and is a Plankton. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Shocking revelations. Uh, and yeah, it's a movie and it happened. Yep. <sighs> Boy. There and you go. he found the lost city of Atlantic City. Which is also important. Which is an exciting place. <laughs> I'm sorry it was misplaced for such a long time. Yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it will never be the same. No, it won't. SpongeBob changed it for good. Oh, did he ever. And for Perhaps the better. Perhaps is not right. Well, <laughs> well, may have pushed it debatable. a little too far. <laughs> but anyways, you judge for yourself, guys. I'm sure you can... <laughs> Chime in and let us know whether you think that was an improvement. Yeah, please do. <laughs> so, you're giving it a thumbs up. Yep. I'm giving it a meh. Yeah. But, you know, that's still a net positive, I think. I think so. Okay. It's not a negative. <laughs> so, the SpongeBob, Sponge on the Run movie. Coming out of the U.S. this week. Already available on premium and... VOD, digital and on demand here in Canada. So if you got some money to burn, you can set it on fire and watch <laughs> this movie. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Bye. Bye.